My Christmas lights control decided to bite the dust, so I decided to improvise a solution with some MOSFETs and an Arduino. I no longer had the original power supply, so I had to use an old printer supply that had a 32 volt output and could supply 940 milliamps. With all channels on, the lights can draw more than this, but the supply only appears to be thermally limited, so it can supply more current for short periods of time. The supply also had a 16 volt output, which was easy to regulate down to 12 volts that was used to drive the MOSFET gates. I decided to use optocouplers to isolate the Arduino and computer from the lights to prevent them frying in case I screwed something up. The optocouplers are driven from the Arduino through some current limiting resistors on a separate board, because I'm an idiot and forgot them on the main board. Some of the lights were blown, and finding the blown ones is usually a time consuming trial and error process, but now we have them under microcontroller command, we can make this a bit easier for ourselves. I connected a coil to an amplifier, and by applying a tone to the light channels, you can hear where the signal is broken. I used a 50% PWM signal for this, which for most pins is around 500Hz. By tapping each globe, and when the signal disappears going to the previous globe and changing it, I fixed around 15 globes in about 5 minutes. I wrote a test program that fades between random combinations of colours, which has a similar effect to what the original controller did. I could use a much smaller and cheaper microcontroller to do this, but I wanted to use an Arduino so I could try some computer controlled effects. I then wrote a sketch to set the channel brightness based on serial input, and wrote a Node.js app to send the values from a website to the serial board. After sending the link to some friends, the novelty of people changing your Christmas light colours from anywhere in the world quickly wore off, so I decided to do something different. I wanted to time the lights with music, but instead of using a crappy auto-generated music visualiser, I decided to hook into files generated for the rhythm game Stepmania. Stepmania has a large community that manually creates mappings between music and four direction channels, which is perfect for controlling four channel lights. Credit for this idea goes to YouTuber Lawrence Wen. I probably butchered his name, but you should check him out if you're interested in this sort of stuff. The effect is decent and looks much better in person, but it's probably too epilepsy inducing to be used on a Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to be notified about more videos like this. It would help me out a lot.